Hello everyone, welcome to Quantifiers. So students, today I've taken a very, very good question based on the topic of time, speed and distance. It's a very important question. Everyone should give it a try. Uh, before I move on to the question, let me quickly tell you that if you want to receive important notifications on your WhatsApp related to different colleges or different exams, then please fill the form given below in the description. Other important links related to our Facebook and Telegram group is also given in the description. Okay, now let's come to the question. I would request everyone to please pause the video and give it a try. Okay, so I hope all of you have tried it. Let us see what is given in the question. There are two people A and B. They are starting from point P and Q at 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. respectively. They are traveling towards point Q and P respectively. So basically A starts from point P and he's going towards point Q. B starts from point Q and he's going towards point P. Further it is given they meet at 5 p.m. And after meeting A takes 20 minutes more than B to reach their respective destinations. Question is at what time will B reach P? So first of all, let us try to understand this question with the help of figure. So let's say this is point P, this is point Q. A starting from point P at 1 p.m. B is starting from point Q at 3 p.m. Now they meet at 5 p.m. And after the meeting, A is taking 20 minutes more than B. Now students, first of all, uh, this particular type of question where two people, they are starting at different times and after meeting, they are taking different times. I'll repeat two people, they are starting at different times and after meeting also, they are taking different times in such type of questions, students, there are no shortcut. So I'll tell you how to solve such questions. Let's assume the distance traveled by A before meeting is X kilometers. Okay. X kilometer wo distance hai, jo A ne travel kiya meeting se pehle. And Y kilometer is the distance which B is traveling before meeting. Now you can see to travel X kilometer, to travel X kilometers, A is taking four hours because A starts at 1 PM and they are meeting at 5 PM. So A is traveling for four hours. Similarly to cover Y kilometers, B is traveling for two hours. Now from here, we can calculate their speeds. We can say that speed of A, speed is equal to distance upon time. So speed of A will be X by four. Similarly, speed of B, Y upon two distance upon time, distance is Y time is two. So we know the speeds of A and B. Now students comes the main part. After meeting A is taking 20 minutes more. Now I'm assuming time as TA. Okay. TA. TA is the time which A is taking after meeting. Okay. TA wo wala time hai jo A le raha hai meeting ke baad. Now can I say after meeting A is going to cover Y kilometers. This is the distance which A is going to cover after meeting. And we know the speed of A. So from here, we can say that time taken by A will be distance upon speed. Distance is Y and speed of A is X by 4. Agar isko thoda sa simplify kar le, so we'll get 4Y by X. Okay, this is the time taken by A after meeting. Similarly, let's say TB is the time which B is taking after the meeting. Now after meeting, B is going to cover X kilometer and we know the speed of B. So time is equal to distance upon speed, distance is X and speed of B is Y by two. Agar isko simplify kar de, this can be written as two X by Y. Now mind you students, it is given in the question that time taken by A is 20 minutes more than time taken by B. So ye wala jo time hai, wo isse 20 minutes zyada hai. So we can equate it now. Four Y by X time taken by A minus two X by Y time taken by B. This should be equal to 20 minutes. So convert 20 minutes into hours because we have taken everything in kilometers and hours. So time also will be in hours. So 20 minutes ko agar hum hours mein convert kar le, So that would be one by three. Now students just look at the equation. Can I say 
y by x and x by y they are reciprocal of each other y by x or x by y ek dusre ke reciprocal hai so let's assume y by x to be some variable let's say this is equal to t so from here students you will get a quadratic equation y by x ko t put karenge to ye ho jayega 4t minus 2 by t is equal to 1 by 3 now if we solve it we'll get 3 times 4t square minus 2 this should be equal to t further if we simplify it we'll get 12t square minus t minus 6 is equal to 0 now students if you solve it from here you will get two possible values of t t ki do values aa jayengi right ek value aapke paas aa jayegi 9 by 12 which is 3 by 4 aur ek dusri value aapke paas aa jayegi which is minus of minus of 2 by 3 स्टूडेंट्स नेगेटिव वैल्यू पॉसिबल नहीं होगी ओके नेगेटिव वैल्यू इज नॉट पॉसिबल ओके बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली टाइम विच दे आर टेकिंग इज गोइंग टू बी पॉजिटिव तो ये जो टी की वैल्यू आई है टी हमने किसको एज्यूम किया वाई बाई एक्स को एज्यूम किया तो वाई बाई एक्स ऑब्वियसली विल बी पॉजिटिव है ना तो टी भी पॉजिटिव होगा टी नेगेटिव नहीं हो सकता सो यू कैन अवॉइड दिस वैल्यू सो दैट मीन्स टी की वैल्यू थ्री बाई फोर है तो ऑलमोस्ट द क्वेश्चन इज ओवर हमने t किसको एज्यूम किया है हमने y बाय एक्स को t एज्यूम किया है सो वी कैन से दैट y बाय एक्स इज बेसिकली थ्री बाय फोर नाउ वी आर कंसर्न ओनली विद b, ओके वी आर कंसर्न ओनली विद b. नाउ हाउ मच टाइम b इज टेकिंग b इज टेकिंग टू एक्स बाय वाई ओके टू एक्स बाय वाई तो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इफ आई इफ वी नो दैट y बाय एक्स इज थ्री बाय फोर सो दैट मीन्स x बाय वाई विल बी फोर बाय थ्री so time taken by b will be 2 into 4 by 3 hours which is 8 by 3 hours and 8 by 3 hours if you convert this is 2 plus 2 by 3 2 plus 2 by 3 ka matlab ho gaya 2 hours and 40 minutes so that means b is going to take 2 hours 40 minutes after 5 pm okay after 5 pm so when will b reach p b will reach p Two hours forty minutes after five p.m. So answer will be five p.m. plus two hours forty minutes. That is seven forty p.m. Seven forty p.m. is the correct answer. Okay, this is a very good question. I hope this question is clear to everyone. Thank you, everyone.